What's up guys, my name is Single Player Nacho, and welcome back to Exploring Resident Evil 7. Holy shit, it's been a while. We'll now be looking at Resident Evil 7 through the perspective of Chris Redfield with his beautiful leather gloves. Uh, he has black, all black attire. He's got some popsicles, some hooks. What, what, what is all this stuff? Uh, of course he doesn't have a head, which is uh, kind of traditional at this point uh, with this video series. We won't be finding our characters with heads. So yeah, pretty much eager to find out what happens in this story. It uh, looks pretty interesting so far. Take it away, Chris. So the salt mine is exactly the same area that we encountered in the original game, right before we faced off against Evelyn. There's not a whole lot of difference between uh, both maps. Another thing that hasn't changed, of course, is the, uh, the molded. They're here and they are aplenty. Let's see if we can get a boulder punch right off the bat here. Oh, we missed it! Ah, you got some molded jizz on your glove there. There we go! We got it! Damn, you got fucked up. So we're at the scene where uh, this is Lucas in disguise. He's about to explode one of our buddies' heads off. Uh, let's see if we can... Is this, is this actually Lucas? He's fucking waiting. He's awake. It's Lucas. All right. Well, who's this guy? What the fuck? He has a helmet inside a helmet. How does that happen? I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? It's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> now you can try and take that is. off all you want, but I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Uh... Lucas, no! Oh. Oops. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Move, <Mood> chachos. <laughs> <laughs> I like his little evil laugh. Fuck. Whoa! Whoa! I'm picking up airborne spores. It's the E-type mutamycete. You goddamn creep! Uh, he's just—he's just, just watching from this crack. He's—he's he's still watching us. Uh, just let that sink in as you play this game. Uh, know that Lucas is watching you through the Your fucking walls. Oh shit! I'm gonna die. We're right behind the door. We had no access to in the original game. So let's go ahead and take a peek to an entirely new area. And uh, there is a a mine, sort of a cart thing that harkens back to the Resident Evil 4 mine scene. It totally reminds me of that. I don't think we're gonna, we don't actually use this yet. But it leads down to a dark corridor and it eventually just fades to black. Oh, we're going down. Wow, this is a massive arena um, full of fighting I'm sure then we have this huge portal door that looks like a something out of the Fallout series oh it got dark whoa space I think we're about to meet another character one of Redfield's uh, teammates is pretty much wired up to this pole he's uh, bleeding out of his ass uh, what is that device inside your rectum? All kinds of torture tools, devices, potions, poisons, meat. Yeah, torturing people, it's, it's, uh, it's hungry work. You gotta have some meat lying around the house. Now this is very interesting. What is this? Ah, uh, it's, it's right, it's aimed right behind him. So I'm already expecting this guy to die. You okay in there? Redfield? Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. So we're approaching one of the action sequences with a bunch of molded heading our way. So why don't we have a little third person perspective fun here? Oh shit, you see that? Knock the fuck out. I own you! 
Oh. So we got the key, but we now have this hulking beast to deal with. Is this bitch vaping or something? Wow. You'll need ramrods to stop it from regenerating lost tissue. You're going to have to fall back. That's the last thing I'll do. Chris Redfield doesn't fall back from no fat white c punt. So the key that we acquired should be the key used for this door. And um, I'm not, I don't think we're gonna make any friends throughout this game. I think Chris is gonna be by himself. So uh, expect a death scene. Everything's all right now. That's just what he wants you to think. I'm just the bait and you fell for it. What a mess. We got a new baddie. He's got a little beer belly going. Ouch. Ooh. A little deadlier than the average molded. It looks like monsters aren't the only thing we have to worry about. It's also technology. Loaded machine guns with, uh, is that night vision? Motion tracking. That's not gonna work. Why don't we send a grenade down there, see how they feel. Like oh, shit! Think that worked? Yes, it did. Looks like the mod will be utilizing the night vision overlay as well. From the looks of it, we've entered a new area. Why don't we zoom out for a little bit and really check out the map? Let there be light. Oh, uh oh. Ah! Look at these little assholes. They're, little, they're kind of cute, honestly, compared to what we see in the game. I guess these are the cutest creatures we'll probably encounter. Ouch. Ouch! Holy shit! He blew me into the... Into the elevator. Well, that about does it for part one of Exploring Not A Hero DLC. I want to give a special thank you to fans that have been pushing me and asking for more content. Thank you Nacho so much. If you're new here, why not stick around for part two, which will be going up on Friday. I'll also be exploring the end of Zoe DLC as soon as we're done with Not A Hero. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for other exploring series, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I hope you guys are enjoying the new DLC, and as always, stay single.